Good afternoon. In this uh, weekly tech tip, what I'm going to do is show you how to use Google Drawings. Um, you'll discover how to create a Google Drawing, see examples of student created, teacher created, and template gallery examples of uh, Google Drawings. And hopefully I'll persuade you they're a, a really valuable tool for both you and your students to be using in class. So the first thing I want to show you is a Google Drawing that explains how to make Google Drawings. And uh, within the link to this video, you should hopefully have received a link to this Google Drawing which you can make a copy of and make your own and use as directions to make a Google drawing. So the first thing you need to do is you would need to select create drawing and that will create a blank canvas. So let me show you that really quickly. Create drawing and here is our blank canvas. The next thing we might want to do is insert images or call out boxes and these are uh, really useful for um, giving voice to whatever you would like your students to talk about or whatever directions you want to give. You can also um, insert shapes and so let me show you what that might look like. Insert text image shapes. We have a multitude of shapes and the call outs are particularly useful um, for students to give voice perhaps, e perhaps to images um, that they are using. Um, the final thing I want to show you on this Google Drawing is a link. You can make uh, links to outside sources. So with this one, I have linked you to the template gallery. And the template gallery, um, which is public templates. You can see just TUSD ones, but public templates have far more. And I've narrowed my search by drawings and by students and teachers and I can find all kind of templates that if I use them I get a copy of that particular Google drawing that I can then use with my students in class. So I want to show you a couple of examples. In this one we can see that a student has created a, uh, a written piece and a visual to explain um, distance versus time. So the graph has been given to them then they have to explain it and visualize it. And the student went online, found clip art, and showed their teacher and their peers in class um, distance over time in a number of different scenarios. In this one, we can see the carbon cycle. And the student has created this image from nothing but these tools from within Google Drawings. What's great about this is the exercise or activity has been taken one step further by each term has to link to an explanation of that term. The next one would be uh, in a social science class, um, historical Facebook, if you don't want your students using Facebook or Fakebook, which is another app they can use. Um, they can create a Facebook page and then if you have the students share their historical figures or share with one another, they can create a conversation here and create a Facebook page that imagines historical figures talking to each other. This is a more general, it's a Venn diagram. In this case, we might be looking at two characters from a novel and students would simply click on the box and they could type in similarities and differences. And then finally, a plot map of which um, could be used in ELA or perhaps social science. And uh, students simply type in to the blank template and can maybe add images and commentary to a plot diagram. The last thing I want to show you is how you can embed your drawing within a haiku page so you could share your instructions if this was a teacher created drawing or share student work if students have shared with you their Google drawing and you would like peer evaluation of work that students have created. It's quite simple. If we go to haiku, we would simply add a content block. We would then select Google Drive as the means to selecting our material. We would pick from Google Drive because this drawing was made in Google Drive. And then the most recent content I've been working on would populate at the top. I could search for it by name here, but I'm going to select my Google tip. I'm going to select teachers only, so it can't be used by the students, just viewed. And it immediately pops up from within Haiku. So I hope you found this tip useful and you'll consider using Google Drawings in the classroom and for your students to create wonderful, quick, 
for far more involved content. Thank you.